this is the Sirius Vape Samo. It's an RDA from Sirius Vape, obviously. In the package you get the Samo RDA, an 1810 Delrin drip tip, accessory bag, and a user manual. The one in the picture is gold, but I've got black. Alright, let's crack her open. Uh, I'm going to use, going to cheat with the tweezers. Nice and quick for you, that's what she said. <laughs> so here we go, we've got the little information booklet. It's a 24mm round by a 33mm tall. There's the pictures, four holes, two holes, two holes, one hole, one hole. You drip tip, top cap and all that. There's your spare, spare parts bag, massive grubs. And you've got your 510 pin, I'm guessing it's a BF pin in there. And your spare seals. Oh, they like doing their nice colourful drip tips. Look at that. Lovely. That's the Delrin one. That's the normal. Oh, wow. Looks stunning. Looks like it should have a nice airflow. Get it on a mod quickly. I haven't got no batches in the mod yet, so I just want to get it on to have a look at the deck. Oh, look at how shiny that is. So that's your Samo Vasir State. And pull the cap off. Oh, wow, look at that. Nice big grubs, nice big build deck. Nice big holes for the coils, so hopefully this will vape lovely as well. Very shiny, I can't help but look at the shininess of it. There we go. Obviously you've got your drip tip, there's an 810, there's no 510 adapter. There's your adjuster, so that's all closed, all open. Two holes, two holes, one hole, one hole, bottom two holes, bottom hole again, it's very fiddly, and then all of the holes again, so it's got a very versatile airflow system. It's very difficult to get that tip back in. There we go. That's what she said. <laughs> right. I'll get a build in this and see how it vapes. There we go with a the build then. I'm going to try the Juggernauts from the Coil Coilology range. The NI80 set. And see how they go. I think I've got everything ready. So let's open it up. Cool. Nice stiff thread. It's got like a weird, I don't know if you can see that, there's like a pin going through the centre to help keep your coils separate I guess. Not seen that before, so should be interesting. Right, I should be open up enough. Sorry, I'm going to have fun with the focus, aren't I? So, coil number one. Do about there. I'll cut that. Cut it a little shorter than I need to. Bloody hell. Shots fired! Then, same with the other side. Cut it a little shorter than I need to. Bloody hell. Evil. Right, so they're all cut down ready. See, normally I don't like these too much, but it appears to be quite an easy build. Right, I'll get them lined up so nice and even. Screw it straight down. 
Hopefully they won't jump around too much. Drag that one out a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. I think that's the first time I've coughed on the camera. Oh god. I'm playing fiddly buggers here. It keeps going sliding in too much. <laughs> that's what she said. There we go. Oh, that one can do. We're sliding in a bit more. That's it, Matt Titan. So that's that side anchored down. Look, I'm not sure if you can really. I'll straighten it in a minute. As you can see that, I'll straighten up in a minute. Then that just needs to go in a little bit more. That needs to come out a little bit. And then hopefully, if I anchor that down, shouldn't move too much. You can get a nice solid grip on these coils. These grubs are massive. I mean, the grubs are bigger than most coils, as you can see, look. I'll straighten that up. That one straight. So a pretty level. Get some wick in there. Should have got the wick on already, shouldn't I? So get a bit of see how much we can get. That should be about it. Oh, hang on. Oh, spin button locked. Spin button unlocked. Right, get them glowing even. I nearly got ahead of myself then, went to... Whoa. Spin button unlocked, right. Oh, that's it. Let's drop the volts a bit, as that seems a bit high. It went, glowed up a bit quick. As you can see, that's getting a lot of hot spots. Ramp it up. These are juggernauts are a bastard for hot spots, so they always are, aren't they? Oh, I just went into the menu. Getting there slowly. Just gotta keep strumming them until it all goes. A little bit there. <laughs> Hopefully that should be it. Got a nice and blue look. Kind of. Right, see how it goes. That's it, lovely. <laughs> Excuse my blowing. That's what she said. Oh god, I think I've got a cotton a bit much. <sighs> yeah, definitely got too much cotton there. Pull some of that out. There we go. Hopefully I've got enough though. <laughs> oh, can't get it in. Shit. Trim that down. There we go. Trim that down. Trim that down a bit more, I think. And that. Flush her up. Ugh. Not doing what I want it to do. There we go. And that side. Boom. Straight in. And these 
filling it a fair bit more. Oh. Definitely got a bit of a weird cold going on here. Sniffly, heavy breathing. Right, I think that's it. Uh, what juice am I going to use? What juice will I use? Get some. I'll try some granita from Drupax. I ain't tried it yet. Oh, splooging. Got a bit of dribble there. Hang on one sec. Clear that. There we go. It's not very good of me, is it? I should have been a bit more prepared there. Sizzling up lovely. It's only 80 watt as well. It's come out at 0.16 ohms. So it ain't too bad. Crank it up a bit, go to 90. Sorted. Right, see how this vapes. And I'll change the camera around. Here we go. The serious Vape Samo. To start with. I swear, when I pulled it out of the box, it didn't have this gold ring around the bottom. I swear it's that flush, but trying to push it down, it just don't have it. It's just there. So I'm not sure really what happened there, but there we go. So I'm vaping it with the airflow full open. I'll show you with the other airflows as well. So full open. It's only at 85 watts, so I should vape it higher really. So that's with a full airflow open. It's got nice flavour, nice cloud, as usual. Uh, this is with one up, one down, each side. Slightly more restricted airflow as you can imagine but I think it does improve the flavour a little bit but I wouldn't vape it like that because it's a bit too tight for me that's what she said and then this is with one airflow open each side just that bottom one on each side it's going to be like mouth to lung you know <laughs> still kicks out a cloud but I've never vape it like that but you've got the option too it's got a very interesting choice of airflows but considering it's only those four slots it does have a nice flow so i've got these juggernauts in here as you know it is getting very hot very hot to touch but i thought i'd test it to its full potential oh it's getting a bit cloudy in here so, I don't know if, I'm guessing with bigger builds it will be like that with most of them. My camera keeps going out of focus because of the smoke vape. So yeah. Overall, it's a nice RDA. Comes with a BF pin as well, so. Nice easy build deck. Nice Delrin drip tip. Nice metallic, uh, matte black this is, I think. They just write black, but it's definitely matte black, rather than metallic black. So yeah, it's definitely very a very good RDA. Nice easy deck again, as you can see, seems quite solid. Shouldn't have any insulator problems hopefully, but time will tell on that one. Yeah. There we go, that's my review of the Samo.